Barbara Hickey, welcome. And Deputy Mayor, Paul, uh, Councillor Paul Kleinschmidt and Mrs. Kleinschmidt, welcome. Uh, the Mayor, Councillor Ray Stevens and Mrs. Stevens will be joining us shortly, traffic permitting. We've had a few problems with that traffic, that's for sure. Now, this year, the South Pacific International Song Contest received over 3,000 entries. Australia Post loves the South Pacific Song Contest from all around the world. Songwriters from the USA, Canada, England, Ireland, Spain, Holland, France, uh, Switzerland, Malta, Turkey, New Zealand, Romania, uh, Guyana in South America, Singapore, and, of course, all states in Australia took part as well. Now, the way it happens is the composers from all around the world submit on cassette their original songs. All that's seen is the title of the song, so the judges do not know who the composer is or where they're from. And from the 3,000 entries, 29 songs were finally chosen to contest for the grand final and for your enjoyment this evening. Now, there was a couple of new categories as well. Uh, the judging panel, I should, should mention the judging panel first, of course, yes. the judging panel that, that turned up late, as a few of you did as well. The judging panel have a, a very difficult task this evening. Uh, first of all, I'd like you to welcome General Manager of Festival Music Sydney, Mr. Bruce Powell. He's been for many years directly involved in the promotion of artists such as Richard Harris, Hugo Montenegro, uh, Jose Feliciano, and singer-songwriters such as Phil Collins, Peter Gabriel and the band that they're from, Genesis, Steve Winwood, and also Mark Hunter. Representing the Australian Performing Rights Association from Sydney is Michelle O'Donnell. Michelle will be explaining the mysteries of copyright at tomorrow night's ultimate seminar, which is being held right here at the Gold Coast Arts Centre. From Gold 92.5, the program manager, and he also does the afternoon shift. It says here Mr. Rod Bryce, but I often refer to him as Sir. Hi, how high would you like me to jump this morning, Bryce? <laughs> and representing the Gold Coast Tourism Bureau, Linda Cunningham. Uh, Linda has been uh, in a successful showbiz career for some years, uh, mainly in England before shifting to the coast, where she worked in films and television with Benny Hill and Frankie Howard, and finally, but certainly not last, a very well-known Australian singer-songwriter whose list of credits are just endless, and we don't have time to go through them all here, but I believe he's just back from Nashville, and that's Mr Brian Cadd. If you could please yes, welcome, welcome the home. judges. Thank you. Now, this year, two new categories have been added, New Age and Novelty. The New Age category was sponsored by RGO Recording Services and has been previously judged as entries for this category were mainly instrumental. Uh, they did not sort of qualify for tonight's performance. So we would like to announce the winners of the New Age category and present uh, the prize. In third place was Restless. The composer was Arunja Bartolomeu. He's not here, so he won't mind if I've mis said that. And he was from Victoria. Uh, he's not with us this evening. But in second place was The Calling, the composer Raymond Oliver from Queensland. Please welcome Raymond. Well done, Ray. And the winner of the New Age section was Labour of Love, the composer Ron Dean Tomich from California in the United States. <laughs> Our first category this evening is the novelty category. And that was for songs of any style, but lyrically they could be humorous, satirical or seasonal. Birthdays, Christmas. The novelty category is sponsored this evening by ACOM Gold Coast. 
Now, song number one, I'm an Australian. The composer is Mark Clark from New South Wales. One of the most unusual credits in Mark's resume was winning in a song competition with a march he composed for the Australian Light Horse Association, mm -hmm. and then he actually performed it with the Australian Light Horse Band for their centenary celebrations in Parramatta. And for those of you who love the classic Australian story, Mark was also one of the stars in the ABC production of Seven Little Australians. He played the role of Pip. I think he's grown up a little since then, but he is still an Australian. Uh, with the most difficult spot in the whole show, I would like you to give him a warm welcome, please. Mark Clark, song number one, I'm an Australian. Give him a warm welcome. I wear zinc cream on me nose. I I wear thongs between me toes, I am an Australian A Cobra hat up on me head, I am an Australian Fresh undies on, just like Mum said, I am an Australian Everybody! I am an Australian, I am an Australian Good day mate and how's it going? I am an Australian When I lose me job, I don't feel bad Australian, cause I live at home with me mum and dad, I am an Australian, I let girls pay when I go on dates, I am an Australian, but you gotta shout when you're with your mates, I am an Australian, let's hear, I am an Australian, I am an Australian, g'day mate and how's it go, I am an Australian, whatever you do don't work too hard and take care. The boss, don't work too hard. I got a horse named Trick, I got a dog named Blue. What? I am an Australian. And me greyhound's got this grouse tattoo. I am an Australian. Me holding panel vans on royal. I am an Australian. And me victim mower's got mag wheels. I am an Australian. I want to hear it. I am an Australian. I am an Australian. Good day, mate. How's it going? I am no worries, pal, she'll be sweet, she'll be apple sun. Cost near enough is good enough, so get back on your bum. Hey, take a sickie and swap, they're there for, don't work too hard. I love sport and surf and sun, I am an Australian. And me speedos crawl right up me bum, I am an Australian. I hate politicians and me boss, of course, I am an Australian. But I love kangaroos and tomato sauce, I am Let's hear! I am an Australian! What? I am an Australian! Good day, mate! How's it going? I am an Australian! One more time! I am an Australian! I am an Australian! Good day, mate! How's it going? I am an Australian! Oh, I love it. <laughs> 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 Beauty, mate. I, um, I know Ray Stevens, the uh, mayor of the Gold Coast, is actually practicing for a run that's coming up in July. He doesn't look like that at the moment. I hope he looks a lot sl slimmer by the time he finishes oh, his training so program. Now, song number two, The Gospel According to He. The composers, there's a bit of an interesting story behind this. The composers are Simon Mills and Warren Bray from New South Wales. They actually have their own radio show. They do Friday Live at B104.9 FM, which I think is in Aubrey, Wodonga. And this particular song is a, a satirical look at the uh, Jimmy Baker marketing style. Uh, mm -hmm. Performed by the writers, uh, Simon and Warren. Ladies and gentlemen, please make them welcome. Song number two, The Gospel According to He. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Marcel, turn that music up. Turn that music up. Stop that music. I want to talk to the people first. Ladies and gentlemen, backstage we have a very powerful man. Brother Thaddeus Leroy Leroy, Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. He's coming out here tonight to talk to you people. He's here to soothe you people. He's here now to brother. save you people. He... Now, brother. Brother. I cannot bring the light to this house. What's that wrong, brother? Non-believers before me. Non-believers? Where's non-believers? Is there non-believers here? Are you a non-believer? Is there non-profitable people here? We want to tell you people about the record industry and how to make money out of it. Now, Brother Thaddeus Leroy Leroy Jackson 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 is going to come and tell you how to do that. And he's going to come out very shortly, but we have to entice him out here. 
And the only way to do that is to chant a little bit. We're going to say, Brother Thad. We're going to clap our hands a little bit. We're going to say, Brother Thad. Brother Thad. Now come with me. Brother Thad. Brother Thad. Brother Thad. I'll go. Keep it going. Brother Thad. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Brother Thad. That's a miracle. Can't do that. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here tonight in a state of sad disrepair. Sad disrepair. For the brotherhood is in financial depletion. Man, it's going down. Down, way down. So tonight, instead of marking on those white pieces of paper, instead of writing things, I want you to reach deep into your pockets and bring out some love to buy our CDs and my loving and uplifting tunes. But boy, if you do that, you will save us from saying to you, well, 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 well. well. The Lord he hears. Very well. He knows the brothers Amen. are in a ridge. That's right. And he wants, he wants you all to be yeah. the solution. Listen, amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I said, just take, take some of your cash yeah. out of that gorgeous hidden stash. And for your sins, you will receive. So here we go once more. Well, if we're chucking you the curtain, then we're about to be converted. But you can say the words one and all. Wow. You know the brothers. We're I think I already have, actually. He's very good. <laughs> Amen. Give them a round of applause too, please. Simon Mills and Warren Bray. Fortunately for Sarah and myself from Gold 92.5, we can't pick up B104.9 FM from Albury Rodonga here Praise on the Gold Coast. Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> so I think, I think we might have a bit of a problem if we could. Now, the folk category. Of all categories represented tonight, folk music is probably the oldest form and is common to most cultures. It uh, was one of the earliest means of spreading the news, commemorating heroic deeds and highlighting social injustice. 
In fact, folk music was, I suppose we could say, the media before the media was invented. This was long before Rupert Murdoch oh, discovered yeah. Foxtel and long before Kerry Packer got on a long horse to before, play polo. Right. The folk category is sponsored by Festival Music. Now the first song is song number three, Red Eye. The composer, Ender Kenny from Victoria. <clears throat> Beg your pardon. He was born in Dublin, but when Ender isn't on tour, he now calls Melbourne home. His music is very contemporary and reflects his real understanding of this vast continent. Red Eye refers to the midnight flight from Perth to the East Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, performing his own composition, Ender Kenny, song number three, Red Eye. Three hours on a tailwind Rue on a bright red tail Through the night across the bight I'm leaving West Australia Flying eastern clockwise I should be there by five the soul, red eyes killing me, but it's keeping me alive. The beach at Margaret River is roaring in my That was red eye. It was very nice too. I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Song number four, Taking It All Away. Composer is Don Cowling from Victoria. Among Don's songwriting successes are first and second place in the Henry Lawson Festival of the Arts Song Competition and also winner of the Port Ferry Folk Festival Song Competition. 
His song tonight tells a story familiar to Australians. Uh, could you please welcome on stage Don Cowling and song number four, Taking It All Away. Hello. <laughs> Song number five. My father came from Ireland. Composer Roberta Fox O'Dowd from Victoria. Roberta is a professional musician and songwriter and her song tonight takes us into her very personal story. Please welcome Roberta with Song number five, My Father Came from Ireland. <laughs> Father came from Ireland many years ago. 
My father came from Ireland many years ago. Don't dear old Emerald Sky, he longed for all his life. How he left. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the sponsor of the folk category, Festival Music, and here to present the grand final trophies is Mr. Bruce Powell, General Manager. Please make him welcome as he wanders down to the stage and wonders if he's going to trip up on the stairs, but I'm sure he no, won't. He's, <laughs> he's waving, I think. Well, I'll present them on Bruce's uh, on behalf. On Bruce's behalf, because okay? it's a little bit hard for him to get out of there. Okay, yes. you can do that. Uh, can we have them on stage, please? That was Ender Kenny with Red Eye, and also Don Cowling taking it all away. Don from Victoria. And Roberta, who we just heard, Roberta Fox, O'Dow from Victoria as well, and my father came from Ireland. Congratulations to you all. A round of applause for them, please. Now, we've got a few more songs to go. I hope you're enjoying the entertainment so far. The standard, as you can see, is quite superb, as it was last year. And uh, towards the end of the evening, I'm sure a lot of you might have a rough idea, in your minds anyway, who the, uh, or what the winning song might be. Incidentally, I should tell you that those lovely gifts that I've been handing out yes. are from the Gold Coast Tourism Bureau. Ah, right. Well, I can see the trophies, but I wasn't sure what was in the parcels. Yes, in the and parcels. they're lovely gifts, and we thank the Gold Coast Tourism Bureau for their generosity and support. Also, really, Richard, I can't let this occasion pass without mentioning Councillor Dawn Critchlow. Dawn's enthusiasm and encouragement were instrumental in the Gold Coast becoming the location for staging this international event. And we thank you very much, Dawn, for your encouragement. Thank you, Dawn. Now, in the last five or six years, gospel music has become more accessible. Uh, mm -hmm. For a broad example, I suppose you could look at the movie Sister Act with Whoopi Goldberg. I loved it. And also, the, the Grammy Awards a couple of weeks ago, I didn't see it, but you were telling me there were some superb gospel performances, wasn't Whitney there? Whitney Houston was great in the gospel, yeah. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you that were here last year for the South Pacific International Song Co Contest would have been surprised at the, uh, the standard of the gospel music and how much fun it was. I mean, the, the, some of the performances were quite superb. This year is no different. It's going to be very entertaining. Alpha and Omega once again sponsored the gospel category this year. Song number six is One Big Human Race. The composer Steve Wade from Victoria. Actually, we've had a lot of Victorians, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Perhaps it's the Kennet factor. Yes, I think they're all moving Inside, up I here. I don't know what it is, but that, yes. Most Australians have heard Steve Wade, 
although many of you may not have heard of him. As the voice of television commercials for Telecom, Maya, Triple M, Ford, East Coast and Hungry Jacks, to backing vocals with Tim Finn on Yothu Yindi's classic track, Treaty. He's a regular on Hey Hey at Saturday in the Midday Show and performed vocals on the soundtrack album for the motion pictures Muriel's Wedding, Police Rescue. Steve will perform his own gospel entry, song number six, One Big Human Race. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Very good. Uh, song number seven in the beginning, the composer is Bob Pierce of Queensland, a former lead singer with the Del Tones and Mo Award winner. Bob is a consistent and prolific songwriter. Yes. He was grand finalist in the 1995 South Pacific International Song Contest and is currently working with screenwriter Dennis Whitburn and Lee Conway, who is in the audience tonight, if he managed to beat the traffic. Uh, they're yes. working on a uh, musical based on Marcus uh, Clark's classic for the term of his natural life. We wish them every success with that, but tonight, please greet Bob Pierce, please. Song number seven, In the Beginning. In the beginning, there was one. And I know that nothing's changed. Your eternal spirit. One eternal flame, eternal flame. I saw a leaf, I saw a leaf fall from a tree, fall from a tree, and that tree grew on and on, grew on and on. So an old man fall by the wayside. So a little baby born, a baby born. In the beginning, there was one, and I know that nothing's changed. Your eternal spirit. Oh, when I look, oh, when I look into that baby's eyes, it's like staring 
And that was Rex Harris that you saw also with Bob. Terrific. <laughs> Great. Yes. Song number eight is Calling for Jesus. The composer is Ray Burton, now of Queensland. We claim him. Ray is an internationally respected songwriter with a list of credits, long list of credits, but it would be fair to say that his biggest hit is undoubtedly I Am Woman for Helen Reddy. He received a gold record for this within six months of the release. And of course, since then, I Am Woman has gone platinum many times over. The song still remains an anthem for women around the world. But tonight, Ray will present us with a brand new gospel song, which was conceived out of some personal sadness, but no doubt will become an inspiration to others. Joining Ray on stage is the wonderful All Saints Anglican School Choir to perform song number eight, Calling for Jesus.
set the world free. Life on this planet, Lord Jesus, has become almost too hard to bear. We all need your spirit to guide us. Try to stop all the violence out there. Ah, cause too many people have suffered And too many children have died Folks are afraid to leave their homes Cause they're scared of the evil outside Oh no Yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. Maggie, you're such a little mover backstage. I know, you couldn't <laughs> help it, could you? I, I must say that um, you said to me, oh, there was a couple of children singing, but when the curtain went back, I couldn't believe all the children that were there. Quiet as a mouse backstage, didn't hear a thing. I was expecting maybe half a dozen, but that, how many? 50, 52? 52 of? children. Steve uh, Wade. Oh, we got our sponsor. Oh, yes, we have. Steve Wade, this one big Mr. human Keith race. Uh, Bob Pierce in the beginning. And also uh, Ray Burton, who we just heard from, uh, calling for Jesus. Give them all a round of applause, please. Hello. <laughs> hand, yes, shake their hands and hand the other uh, prizes along. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. That's right. <laughs> Kiss and shake hands and swap phone numbers and... <laughs> Keith Bray, Managing Director of Alpha and Omega. Thank you. Okay, now we're to the jazz category. And compared with the long traditions of folk and gospel, jazz is a phenomena of modern times. Recent success of Harry Connick Jr. has brought jazz to the attention of the wider public. The jazz category is sponsored by, ooh, my favorite restaurant. <laughs> Oscar's Garden Restaurant. Song number nine alone, the composer is Peter Upman from Queensland. Peter Upman is Queensland's Jazz Performer of the Year and has two songs in the grand final tonight. His first is a ja jazz blues ballad. Uh, please make Peter welcome on stage to perform his own composition. Song number nine, Alone. You know, it's been said Love is the most important thing in the world. But what if your heart has been broken? No one seems to care. And you're just so alone. Here I go again. Alone and low again. Never once my friend have I.
Very smooth. Song number 10 is The Heartbeat of Sydney, composer Edwin Duff from Sydney. Edwin's career has been both long and illustrious, having shared the stage with a host of stars like Shirley Bassey, Bill Cosby, Cilla Black, and jazz legend Carmen McRae. Tonight, Edwin performs his own composition, song number 10, The Heartbeat of Sydney. Every city on this planet has its heartbeat, be it Paris, New York, Amsterdam, or Rome. But my truly favorite city has a heartbeat that's so pretty, it's the city I am proud to call my home sweet. Sydney is beating for you. The heartbeat of Sydney, it's strong and it's true. The lights on the harbor are shimmering bright. They gleam through the night, telling you that Sydney's all right. Very good. Song number 11 is a recipe for love. Composer Peter Upman again from Queensland. Peter is regarded internationally as one of the finest jazz stars in Australia. He is constantly being compared with fellow Australian greats uh, James Morrison and Vince Jones, and rightly so. Uh, please welcome back to the stage Peter Upman to perform his second winning entry in the 1996 grand final song number 11, Recipe for Love. Changed from days of old. I know. And does she love me? Why should she want me? I don't know. And is there something about me that I can't see? Hey, what could it be? Take that doubt and know for certain. Make it clear that she should care. I got two arms to hold her tight. Those two arms would hold her every night. She love me, why should she want me? I don't know. And is there something about me that I can't see? Well, is there, what could it be? Take that doubt and know for certain. Make it clear that she should care. I got two arms to hold her tight. Those two arms could hold her every night. What am I doing here? I'm in love with the most beautiful girl in all of the world. Someone just so special, someone so perfect. How, how, how do I act? What do I say to her? I have no idea. I think 
about her every night. I miss her. I know she likes me, but I just can't imagine why. And say I thought she loved me. Why should she want me? I don't know. And is there something about me that I can see? Say, what could it be? I'm the happiest man in the whole wide world. You want to know why? You really do? She said that she loves me too. Yeah, yeah. Tell the world how you feel. Shout it to the stars above. You feel so great, now you got your mates. And you found the recipe for love. There's so much candlelight and dinners. Too much wine to soothe the soul. Once like glass, you got romance. Nine months, there's more trouble to behold. Uh, no. Hey, does she love me? Why should she want me? And is there something about me that I can see? Hey, what could it be? Don't take long to make you wonder. Why would I swap this life for quits? You look around, begin to frown. Somehow now you seem to gain two kids. One, two. What the hell is happening here? Where have I gone wrong? Are you sure these kids are ours? Have we been together for nine months? Is love worth all this? Yeah. The sponsor of the jazz category is Oscars Garden Restaurant, and here to present the finalist awards is manager Wendy Vaughan. Is Wendy here? Yes, do I we have Wendy? Is. Yeah, I think we, we, with this traffic yes. problem that we've had, we're not sure, but she is here somewhere. Hiding around Wendy, are you? And the but finalists? We, we should have our trophy girls there. And is Wendy we've here We've lost or not? a sponsor. I'll do this one then. Yeah, do you want to go over okay. and shake the hands? Okay. Now and, I, uh, and we're going to have... Um, Peter you know? Upman on stage for uh, the composition alone, and also uh, Edwin Duff, the heartbeat of Sydney. Please give them a, w a well uh, a round of applause, a warm welcome, that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, guys. He gets two. He's lucky. <laughs> Soul, rhythm and blues, from the smooth sounds of boys to men and Mariah Carey to the commitments and many variations in between. That's what soul, rhythm and blues is all about. Sponsored this evening by Concord Music of Ashmore. Song number 12, Chained by Emotion. Composer, Stan White, he's from Queensland, a keyboardist extraordinaire. He's toured with, listen to this, he's toured with Deep Purple, Pink Floyd, Cliff Richard and Olivia Newton-John from one end of the scale to the other. And now bringing him with him a wealth of knowledge and experience from major studios in England and the USA, he's established a state-of-the-art digital recording studio here on the Gold Coast, whatever happened to 78 Records. Stan, Stan White, to present song number 12, Chained by Emotion. Please make him welcome.
Wow, that was good. <laughs> I'd just like to take a moment now to, um, to officially welcome the Mayor, Councillor Ray Stevens. It's wonderful you've been able to make, make it here to be with us this evening, and we do welcome you. Thank you so much. He's been out jogging, practicing for the run, getting a bit of training in. <laughs> Song number 13, It's Only Love, composers Steve Ball and Erin Clark from Sydney, New South Wales. To say Steve's career path has been diverse is really an understatement. From being a member of the 70s progressive rock group Cush to composing, arranging and producing the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, the Sydney Sinfonia, Renee Geyer, Randy Crawford, Wendy Matthews and Rick Price. It's Only Love will be performed by his co-writer, Erina Clark, and we'll hear more of Erina later. Please welcome her to the stage with song number 13, It's Only Love. It's only love. 
Nice and cruisy. Wow. Song number 14, Stand Up. Composer is Hari Bandhu from New South Wales. Hari Bandhu was the winner of the 1995 South Pacific International Song Contest. In addition to the major cash and other prizes, Hari has recently returned from Ireland where he represented Australia in the Cavan International Song Contest. Yes. And in June this year, he flies to Istanbul, Turkey as our representative in the Pamukkale International Music Festival. Now, Maggie, you and Jim Haddleton are off to Pamukkale as That's well, right. aren't you? That's right. Jim Haddleton, who's the chief executive of the South Pacific Song Contest, has been asked to be on the international judging panel in Pamukkale, and I've been asked to be a guest artist, which will be fun. And with any luck, I'll be carrying the bags. <laughs> Hardy is becoming a bit of a regular jet setter as well. Please make him welcome on stage. Hari Bandhu, song number 14, Stand By. I speak stand your pardon, up. stand up. Is me, I am tired. I'm sick of my voice It sings my self-pity With words of my choice It runs through my brain Looking for rest I have no time To hear all the words See my woman has left me And I haven't heard A cry within a desperate and desperate mess Cause life has its ups Well, life has its downs That's what we think Makes the world go round We don't give in We strive to stay free This multi-faced word that applies to a terrorist On the flight of the bird I guess we are the way We can all say Let it be So stand up all Stand up oh, Stand up all Stand up I say stand up Places on the TV in the comfort of our living room. Do we wait our turn? Some pray to God in their time of need, but don't give a damn beyond their good deeds. They only say souls, so that's won't burn. But all this aside, do we question the lies that are all?
yourselves. A little secret, sorry about the delay. Maggie couldn't find her shoes. I found them now. I kid you not, she took them off and went off for a walk and then she was trying to find the shoes in the dark, but we found them, so do not panic. <laughs> Welcome back to the second half of the 1996 South Pacific International Song Contest, the country category. Most modern music genres have had their beginnings in the USA, including country music. Uh, take the black music of the South and the folk music of the mountains, add a dash of rock and pop and mix it all around and you have the sounds of today's country music. The country category has the second largest number of entries in the yes, South Pacific Song Contest, sponsored by Digital Paradise Recording Company. And song number 15 is Mad Dan Morgan. The composers Mick Hamilton and Keith Glass from Victoria and New South Wales. Keith hosts the radio program High in the Saddle on Melbourne station 3 RFM. And together with Mick penned this song, which is the true story of the bush ranger Daniel Morgan. But to perform Mad Dan Morgan is Joe Daniels, who has graced the stage from Las Vegas to the Australian tour of the Rocky Horror Show. He's been described as Australia's most versatile international performer. Joe hails from the USA. It's a bit of a nice twist to hear an American sing an Australian country song. And now Mr. Joe Daniels with song number 15, Mad Dan Morgan. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. 
thank you. The true story of Mad Dan Morgan. What a voice. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Song number 16, Problem Child. The composer is Travis Bryant from Western Australia. Travis' success in Western Australia has been well signposted with awards and accolades throughout his career. He also co-writes with various artists with the aim of producing songs of international standard. His entry will be, for, be performed tonight by Maureen Mitchell, who counts among her career highlights, uh, tours with David Bowie and Sammy Davis Jr. Maureen would be right at home in America's glamorous style of country music, she actually. Would, yeah. Yeah, shades of the queen of country, Reba McIntyre. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Maureen Mitchell in song number 16, Problem Child. Song number 17, I love that rock and roll. This is a very rockabilly number. Composer is Mark Abbott from New South Wales. Now consider this, Mark has been a strapper, a jockey, a shearer, a wool presser, a drover, and an outback cook in the Northern Territory. He's hitchhiked around Australia, lived with an Aboriginal family outside Blackall, driving horses from town to town on adjustment. 
He was a street kid in Brisbane before the term street kid was even thought of. And what better grounding could anyone have to become a storyteller through writing songs? On stage with Mark tonight are the KO Rockers and his band, The Legends. Song number 17, I love that rock and roll. Just a young man, I would take a walk downtown To the California cafe where the girls would sit around Well, I'd listen to the jukebox, then I'd ask them all to dance While my friends were drinking beer, I was chasing a romance Well, I love to hear that rock and roll, I love that drive and beat Sometimes I'd steal a kiss from the girl across the street She looked so cute in a bobby socks so and petty caught on In tight pants, my hair slipped back in a leather jacket, studded down one side. I drive up and down the main street so the chicks could check my style, and I'd race the local coppers and I'd beat them by a mile. And I just do what I'm told But if I hear that rock and roll Come on the radio Well, I let my mind just wander back To days long ago Well, I love to hear that rock and roll I love that drive and beat Sometimes I'd steal a kiss From the girl across the street She looks so cute in a bobby socks That petty coat all flat I have my leather jacket California poppy in my hat Well, I love to hear that rock Sometimes I'd steal a kiss from the girl across the street. She looked so cute in a bobby socks, a petticoat all flat. I had my leather jacket, California poppy in my hair. I had my leather jacket, California poppy in my hair. You too can learn to dance like that. That was Bob and Karen Pierce. Weren't they fantastic? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Song number 18, Girls Just Want to Dance. The composer is Kenneth O'Connell from the UK. Kenny's song, Give It Up, was the winner of the pop section and a third place overall in the 1995 grand final. Uh, since then, Give It Up has been released as a single in Europe for Belgian dance artist Gina Lisa. And recently, two of his country tracks have been released by Nashville-based artists. Performing Girls Just Wanna Dance is one of the Gold Coast's most experienced and young talent singers, Gavin Hill. Now, one of the ingredients of a good country song, as you've just seen, is you've got to have a good boot and scoot and line dancing beat to it and a bit of a team to Glad help you, you out as that. well. Mm -hmm. uh, the Gold Coast's own Wild West Dancers with Gavin Hill presents song number 18, Girls Just Wanna Dance. Yes,
tries to push you away Tell her that you won't stand in her way Let her see you want to be the one that's strong Cause I don't know how I'll school by you And I get better things to do Bang my head on the walls and make my dreams come true While the winning hand was the one I played The losing that I must always say Saving all my aches till my luck runs low Now, I've got to tell you that the uh, Wild West line dancers, you too can be a Wild West line dancer. Dale and Sharon uh, Platt have a terrific dance school, and everyone likes to do line dancing these days, don't they, Richard? Better than aerobics, Maggie reckons. I think it is, Looks yes. easier. Most definitely. And, you know, I've got to pause and just say for the moment that we have um, 34 composers involved in the songs you're hearing tonight, but over 100 performers on stage and majority of the performers that are helping to produce the numbers for the composers are local people and I think it's great that we can all get together and, and put on a wonderful show for you. Yeah, I thank them. <laughs> Song number 19, good to you. Composer is Paul Jones from New South Wales. 1995 was a very good year for Paul. Along with success at Tamworth, he was a grand finalist in the 1995 South Pacific Song Contest with a song about his ancestor, Owen Cavanaugh, who was the first European settler to set foot on Australian soil. He lowered the gangplank for Captain Arthur Phillip in Sydney Cove. Joining Paul on stage with his magic fiddle, we think maybe Paul Robinson. <laughs> and Paul's going to present his own song for you. Song number 19, Good To You.
Right, we welcome to the stage now from Digital Paradise Recording Company, Ian Peter, sponsors of the country music category and a very good uh, category it was too. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> now you know how Mel Gibson felt, Ian. And the first song in the country category was song number 15, uh, Mad Dan Morgan. Composers were Mick Hamilton and Keith Glass from Victoria, New South Wales, to accept the award on their behalf. The person who performed the so show, uh, the song rather, please welcome Mr. Joe Daniels on stage to get his, his trophy. And song number 16 was Problem Child, the composer Travis Bryant from Western Australia. But to accept the award on his behalf, please welcome his performer, Miss Maureen Mitchell. Song, song number 17 was I Love That Rock and Roll. The composer was Mark Abbott of New South Wales. If you'd welcome Mark on stage, please, to accept his award. <laughs> oh, and the KO Rockers as well. And song number 18 was Girls Just Want to Dance, composer Kenneth O'Connell from the United Kingdom. And accepting the award on his behalf is Gavin Hill, who performed the song. And song at number 19, Good To You, composer was Paul Jones. Come on out, Paul, accept your award, thank you. Thank you. Our next category is rock. 
That was the start of the career that's taken Erina from the stage and TV to recording studios around the world. And at the age of 12, would you believe, she had her own TV show in New Zealand. At 14, she was touring with major international artists such as Dionne Warwick, The Supremes and The Temptations. She's got a great voice. Please welcome her back on stage, the wonderful voice of Erina Clark to perform song number 20, Turn the Tide. <laughs> And playing the guitar was Erina's co-composer, Steve Ball. Boy. Song number 21, Do It Again. Composer Steve Wade from Victoria. Another writer that we've introduced you to earlier in the gospel section. He did one big human race. Steve was the writer and the performer. Do It Again is his second qualifying song, and it was submitted with a female vocal by former Queen of Pop, Colleen Hewitt. But tonight, Steve has chosen a Gold Coast-based singer, Ellie Hart, to present song number 21, Do It Again.
Song number 22, I'll Be There. The composer is Anthony Tostaguerra from Victoria, writing a memorable hit with a four-minute time limit is the aim of the composers here tonight. And Anthony has been honing his skills recently on a few 30-second versions, which yeah. I'm sure you're familiar with. Uh, Saab, Ford, General Motors Holden. And he didn't have to look too far to find the right singer to perform his grand final entry. A founder member of Hunters and Collectors, session singer and solo artist, currently working on a new album. What could be better to sing Tony's song than his brother, Ray Tostakera from Victoria. So song number 22, I'll Be There. <laughs>
Thank you. To present the grand finalist trophies in the rock category, please welcome the sponsor, Mr. Colin Barnes of Gold Coast Music. Gold Coast Music is Queensland's largest guitar centre and under their umbrella Drumworks, Queensland's largest drum specialist. And Gold Coast Music brings to Queensland international drummers to share their experience, which benefits local musicians. And I think that's a very, very wonderful thing to do. Song number 20, Turn the Tide. The composers were Steve Ball and Erin Clark. Please welcome them on stage. And song number 21 was Do It Again. Composer was Steve Wade from Victoria. I've got a feeling Steve's... Stuck out the back. Probably up there, are you, Steve? <laughs> You're enjoying the song. So That's perhaps right. I'll accept it on Steve's Hang on behalf. to it, Colin. And song number 22, I'll Be There. The composer was Anthony Tostaguerra from Victoria, but accepting it on behalf of, his, uh, behalf of him, his brother, Ray Tostaguerra. Well done. <laughs> Fine song. Thank you very much. Are you enjoying it so far? The standard is quite superb. And there's more to come. Absolutely. Now, I think it's just fantastic that we've got so many Australian composers in this grand final. They've really been fantastic. When you consider 3,000 entries from all over the world, 20% of the entries came from the United Kingdom alone. So you're now about to see more of our international grand finalists. They really dominated the pop section, which we're about to show you now. The word pop is used to describe a wide spectrum of popular music, from haunting ballads to the latest dance music. The pop category is sponsored by the Musicians Pro Shop at Mermaid. And the pop category this year is dominated by international finalists. Only one song by an Australian composer or composers qualifying for the grand final via this category. Song number 23, High Road. Composers Barry Mason and Steve O'Donnell, United Kingdom. Barry Mason is one of the world's leading songwriters. His songs have sold over 50 million records worldwide. Among Barry's hits are such stanzas as Delilah, Love Me Tonight, written for Tom Jones, Love Grows Where My Rosemary Goes for Edison Lighthouse, Lonely is a Man Without Love and The Last Waltz for Engelbert Humperdinck, and the list of hits goes on and on. Barry has written High Road, especially for Rod Stewart, who will be hearing it for the first time when Barry returns to England after this contest tonight. Tonight, High Road will be performed by the composer. Please give a very warm Australian welcome to Mr. Barry Mason with song number 23, High Road. <laughs> See, you needed a world outside 
Thank you. I think it's pretty wonderful we've got these international people flying halfway around the world to be with us because it's, um, it's really adding to the whole proceedings. And there's more to come too. Song number Absolutely. 24. Uh, the composers are George Anderson and Jill Sayward from the UK. George and Jill are both members of the British band Shag Attack, a name I'm sure you've heard of, a band aptly described as jazz funk heroes. They are both instrumental in the songwriting success of Shack Attack, as well as writing and producing hits for other artists like El Jarreau and the Osborne Boys. Will you please welcome to the stage Jill Saywood as she performs the first of their two grand final compositions, song number 24, All Kinds of Living. Jill Saywood from the UK. Welcome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, song number 25, Open the Door.
speaking. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. All right. <laughs> I think we've got a few people from the Sunshine Coast here this evening. <laughs> yes. And I must also welcome from the Sunshine Coast uh, the editor in chief of the Sunshine Coast uh, newspapers, Mr. Peter Owen, and also from Mix FM on the Gold Coast, Mr. Nick Scott and Councillor Diane Priestley from the Sunshine Coast. Welcome to all of you. You might have a new little star there, I think. <laughs> Song number 26, uh, Let Me Be The One. The composer is Edmund Zab from Malta. Success is no stranger to Edmund. He has been a grand finalist in the International Song Contest held in Japan, Germany, Turkey, Ireland, and of course his homeland, Malta. Tonight he adds Australia to his list. To sing Let Me Be The One, we welcome Debbie Sherry. Her international credits include the Eurovision Song Contest, and Debbie is the presenter of a five-hour music television show aired weekly on Maltese television. Please make welcome from Malta, Debbie Sherry performing song number 26, Let Me Be The One. Give them a warm welcome. Song number 27, Children of the Sun, composers James Melisinos and Susan O'Neill from New South Wales. This is the only Australian song that qualified for the grand final via the pop category. James and Susan are both accomplished musicians and talented songwriters and are working hard to get a lucky break. To perform their song are two fine singers from Sydney, Simon Shapiro and Gemma Glendening. 
and they will present Children of the Sun with the wonderful Minjing Ball dancers led by Leon Scott, who is also the choreographer. Ladies and gentlemen, song number 27, Children of the Sun. Wow, wasn't that great? And the Minjimbul dancers it can also be seen down at the Minjimbul uh, Cultural Centre and Museum in Tweed. And they'll show you all the various dances and what they mean. And you can have a cup of tea down there and have a great time. And I think the boys did a wonderful job. And especially, I think it was Josh on the didgeridoo. I love that sound. Song number 28, Where is the Light? The composer is Barry Mason and Ivan Laybourne from the UK. Now, Barry Mason is the winner of no less than five Ivor Novello Awards. That's the British equivalent of the Oscars and nine ASCAP Awards from the USA. Barry is in much demand as a guest speaker on the art of popular songwriting throughout the US and Great Britain. And I should remind all the songwriters that Barry is the keynote speaker at tomorrow's ultimate seminar, which is being held here at the Gold Coast Arts Centre. Uh, this song was inspired by the death of a close friend. Ladies and gentlemen, Barry Mason will now perform his final song, Song number 28, Where is the Light? face reality. 
reality. Oh God, I want to be with you tonight. I know you're out there somewhere, the brightest star. A part of me is where you are. I want to walk with you again. Stand in silence by the stream. Taste again the sparkling water To live again that magic dream Where is the light? I want to be with you tonight I see an open window I hear the sound of laughter oh god i want to stay with you tonight your sleepy morning smile let breakfast wait a while i taste your kisses now alone tonight i know there's nothing left to say or do i lost my life there and we do thank you very much for being understanding about the late start tonight but there is no way really we could have hurried it up anymore because these composers are all very wonderful creative people and they needed their moment with you um, I'm sure you've enjoyed all of them have you not yeah so it is going to be rather a late night but um, now we have song number 29, the final song. Only a Woman. Composers are George Anderson and Jill Saywood from the United Kingdom. In her role as producer, Jill is always scouting for new acts, so no doubt she'll be besieged at the seminar tomorrow. But for now, get ready to be swept up in the magic of our final entry for the 1996 South Pacific International Song Contest as Jill sings her composition, Number 29, Only a Woman.
First trophy is to song number 23 and the composer Barry Mason from the United Kingdom. That's a warm Aussie welcome for you. And the second song in that section was number 24 by George Anderson and Jill Saywood, All Kinds of Living. Please welcome Jill to the stage to accept the trophy. And we'd have to uh, welcome the composer back for this one, Open the Door, composer Barry Mason. And I think he might have uh, started off a new little Aussie pop star as well. Please welcome to the stage Edmund Zab from Malta for Let Me Be The One. <laughs> Debbie Sherry will uh, accept the trophy. Edmund, I know you're up there and I know you're very shy. Please give him a very warm round of applause. He's up there. To accept the trophy for Children of the Sun, song number 27, the composers James Melisinos and Susan O'Neill from New South Wales. <laughs> He's making a habit of this one. Number 28 was Where is the Light? Composer Barry Mason will accept the award. And Barry is going to share a lot of his expertise with the writers tomorrow. So any writers out there who'd like to come and, uh, and join in the seminar, you'd be most welcome tomorrow. And finally, in the pop section, only a woman and the composers were George Anderson and Jill Saywood. Please welcome back Jill Saywood from the UK. Now, owing to our late start, unfortunately, the mayor uh, had to go on to another function, and he does apologize to all the contestants and to you, the audience. Uh, he's been under a lot of pressure this evening, as you know, all the functions that are on tonight on the Gold Coast. Um, but deputizing for him uh, very kindly is Councillor Cole Kleinschmidt, who's the deputy mayor, and we would ask him if he would please come backstage now for the presentation of the awards. Now the judges are going to be putting their uh, heads together, so just to keep us amused while they do that, we're going to have a special performance for you. Since their formation in January 1995, the group you're about to see bring their dynamic performance to the audience here at the Gold Coast Arts Centre, and they've been doing it all around Australia, in fact all around the world. Whilst in Australia they have stunned audiences at the Sydney Opera House, at Jupiter's Casino here on the coast. Their performances encompass percussion, music, martial arts and primitive fire dancing. Sorry about those people in the front row, but I'd shift well back if I was you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Brazilian dance performance group, Asha Capoeira. I hope you enjoy them.
Fantastic. We hope you've enjoyed uh, the entertainment tonight. It, it, it has been quite superb. The standard yeah, has been excellent. Absolutely. And before we announce the winners, just a couple of thank yous. Thank you so much for the support from the Gold Coast City Council. It is absolutely essential anywhere in the world to have the support of local government. And they've been absolutely wonderful tonight and we thank them so very much for their support. On behalf of all the composers, thank you. Fourth place getter in the 1996 South Pacific International Song Contest, Maggie is, please. Only a woman, Jill Saywood from the United Kingdom. Big round of applause for Jill, please. Hopefully this will make up for the, uh, the little problem that she had uh, when she first arrived in Australia with the, with the robbery. She wants a bag back, she just yelled out. <laughs> Third place getter in the 1996 South Pacific International Song Contest, Maggie. Children of the Sun, James Melisinos and Susan O'Neill. Excellent performance too. Runner-up in the 1996 South Pacific International Song Contest is... Erin Clark and Steve Ball for Turn the Tide. <laughs> Got a great voice. And the winner of the 1996 South Pacific International Song Contest is... Erin Clark and Steve Ball for It's Only Love from Sydney, New South Wales. believe this. <laughs> Best group performance went to Erin Clark and Steve Ball together. <laughs> Come back Erin and Steve. Born in New Zealand and entered her first talent quest at the age of five and she won it and she's going to go on, keep on winning. And the final winning. award is best performance to Jill Saywood for Only a Woman. <laughs> well, she might have lost her handbag, but she's got some trophies to take back to England. Safe trip home. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this, the second South Pacific International Song Contest. Another five minutes and I turn into a pumpkin. I'm out of here. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry it took so long, but we, as you know, we had trouble with the traffic and the judges turning up, and also a lot of you also got delayed in the traffic as well. But we finally made it, and I think you will agree, it was definitely worth the wait, wasn't it? It was just fantastic. <laughs> Next year? So we hope that we'll see you all again this time next year. Thank you so much for coming, and good night. Thank you. And thanks to the judges. See you later. Thanks, okay. Maggie. Good night, Richard. <laughs>